Hi everyone, uh, this is Blender Helix Alpha, and today I'm going to show you a really simple tutorial on how to make a uh, basic sword. Um, this is a part of my beginners series, and uh, I would like you all to um, follow what I do. So, uh, right click, so uh, right click on your object, and then hit delete and then uh, do the same for your camera and we just did that for the light and the camera and uh, next let's zoom up um, on this uh, cube here that you started out with and uh, we're going to hit R for rotation uh, Y to rotate it on the green yellow or uh, green Y axis and we're going to rotate it 45 degrees which is um, half of um, a rotation. So now we have something like this. Um, let's hit tab to go into edit mode and let's select these top vertices by shift and right clicking on them and let's uh, hit S to size on the Z axis so hit SZ and uh, we're going to drag that down and then left click to confirm and then we're going to select all of these out outlying vertices hit E, uh, select uh, extrude region, and drag out here, and then we're going to hit W, merge, at center, and confirm. And now what we're going to do is hit A, and that'll deselect all of your vertices, and then we're going to hit A again, and that'll select all of your vertices. And uh, we have a really short blade here, so what we're going to do is make it a lot longer, and uh, the way we're going to do that is just basically sizing it on the Y axis all together. So we're going to hit S, Y, and um, now our sword is much bigger, but our point is just a little too, uh, I guess, pointy. So we're going to drag that point down, and uh, we have a basic blade. If you'd like to uh, get these vertices down here and uh, make them a little bit larger so the sword looks a little bit cooler, you can go ahead and do that, but I'm going to drag our blade out of the way. So we're done with our blade now. Oops. Um, let's go into our top view again, which is uh, 7 on the numpad, or um, you can go to view top. And we're going to hit space, mesh, cube. And uh, we're going to zoom up here, uh, SX. And then let's hit uh, edit mode, and then uh, select your face selection. And let's rotate around here. So both of these faces. Uh, e to extrude again, S, X, and uh, then we're going to drag both of these upwards. So now we have just a basic guard, and we're going to size this down on the Z axis just to shape it a little bit better. Alright, so now what we're going to do is um, add mesh handle. Or, uh, I'm sorry, add mesh cylinder. We're going to make, make making the handle. And uh, you're going to want to turn these vertices uh, down because it's going to be very high poly if uh, we don't. And basically what high poly means is a high polygon model, which uh, makes it a little bit harder for video games to process. So instead of 32, let's, let's do 12. That's a good number. And as you can see, our cylinder is uh, facing this way, and we don't really want that. So we're going to rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees, so RX90. Then we're going to size it on the Y, and then drag it, and just keep sizing it until it fits onto your handle. And then we're going to drag, we're going to go back and dot select, and uh, hit B, and then B again, and then select all of our um, points here, and uh, keep using E and extrude and sizing until you shape your handle. And uh, here's a really basic sword. I hope this helped uh, all of you beginners out. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot. Please subscribe if this helped you out. And I really appreciate it. See you, see you later.